Long lines were seen snaking across Acapulco on Sunday as residents there queued for hours for the most basic of necessities after Hurricane Otis ravaged the Mexican beach town four days ago. It's one queue for food, another for water. Many are angry with a lack of help from the government. We need food and water. They brought water, but look how many of us there are. There are so many of us. It's not enough water. Where is the government support? Look at the queue. They tell us that the water will be delivered at 8 a.m. We have been here since early morning, since 5 a.m., risking being mugged, because now there is mugging going on in the streets. Stores have also been looted as the situation grows increasingly desperate. At the line for food aid, this woman pleaded for help from the international community, saying she had nothing left. Not all of us looted, she said. We really need help. There's nobody here. Hurricane Otis ripped through the region as a Category 5 storm on Wednesday, wrecking much of Acapulco as well as cutting communications and power. The government said on Sunday the death toll soared past four dozen, with several people still missing. It also said more than 270,000 homes were knocked down in the state of Guerrero, one of the poorest in Mexico. Though the government has sent troops to begin the cleanup, officials admit it will take a long time. In a video message, President Andres Manuel López Obrador promised people electricity would be restored on Monday night, at latest by Tuesday. This will allow gas stations to start distributing fuel, he said. That would be most welcomed by this funeral homeowner, who said the lack of electricity meant they couldn't preserve the bodies of the victims. Analysts have estimated the cost of damage could climb as high as $15 billion. Officials said apart from homes, Otis also destroyed some 600 hotels and condominiums in the tourism-dependent city. López Obrador said the ministers of finance and the economy, along with most of his cabinet team, would be in Acapulco by Monday. But as pieces of broken boats and smashed yachts along the bay showed, the task of rebuilding the city and its economy is set to be a major challenge.